Being off. Alrighty, and let's start. So today we're starting in child pose. From here at the center of your mat, send your knees to the edges of the mat, connect your big toes together, sit on your heels and start extending your arms forward and go down as much as you can. Most importantly here is to maintain a relaxed neck if this is too much for your hip and your inner thighs, you can start bringing the knees closer to each other, hip width, while keeping the big toes together and stay seated on your heels. Relax in child pose and regulate your breath. Breathing here in and out through the nose. Think of calming your mind, calming your breath here as much as you can. De-stress, start focusing on your breath. Give yourself some time to sink deeper into your mat. To connect with your breathing pattern. Here in child pose, try to inhale deeply and exhale very slowly and gently start looking forward, lifting yourself up, bringing the palms closer to the knees, lifting the hip off the heels, knees hip width apart, hands on their shoulders into table pose, make sure your feet are relaxed here. Five rounds of cat-cow breathing. We inhale, look up, tailbone up. And exhale to round your spine, tuck your chin to your chest and look at your pelvis. And four more, carry on following your own pace. And every time you inhale, keep your elbows extended as much as you can. Every time you exhale, push the mat away with your palms. We have two more here. Inhale, open your chest forward. And exhale to round, lifting the back up to the ceiling. Last one here. Exhale into cat. And coming back to neutral spine, flat back here. All right, I want you to engage your abs, let your core be tight, and try as much as you can to avoid arching the back. So we always want the tailbone to be tucked in. Start extending the right leg back, toes on the mat. Think of the length here, pushing the mat away with the palms. As much as you can, close your hip. We're gonna start doing pulses using the power of the glutes, lifting the leg up and down for five, four, three, two, and one. This time, lift and hold for five, four, three, two, and one. Keep your leg up, start extending the left arm forward. Hold it here, engage your abs for five, four, three, two, and one. Relax all the way back to table pose, fix your alignment, and prepare for the other side. So from here, we're gonna extend the left leg back, toes on the mat, engage your abs, push the mat away with your palms, five pulses for five, four, three, two, and one. Lifting the leg up, holding it here for five, four, three, two, and one. Start engaging the arm as well, lifting the right arm forward, 
Lengthen as much as you can for five, four, three, two, and one. Come back down to your table pose, sending the knees to the edges of the mat, connect your big toes together, sit on your heels, extend your arms and relax and try the pose. Catch your breath here. keeping child pose we want to bring the palms together keep extending the arms forward plant your elbows down to the mat forehead down on the mat start lifting the palms fingers to point up to the ceiling if you don't feel a stretch here in your arms take a step forward with the elbows while keeping the hip above the heels regulate your breath here and if you can, take it deeper, sending the palms towards the back of the neck, fingers pointing to the back of the room. And release your arms all the way back down. Inhale to lift up to table pose. Again, fix your alignment, bringing the knees hip width apart. And again from here, we're going to start extending the right leg back, toes down on the mat, send your left foot to the edge of the mat and start dropping the right heel to the side, opening the hip and inhale right arm up. So think of one line here, your leg, your hip, your shoulder, right arm up and maybe gaze up. Breathe here. Start planting the left foot down to give you some balance. Engage your glutes and inhale, right leg up. Try to bring it as high as you can, maybe to be aligned with the hip. Regulate your breath. Keep sending the hip forward, engaging more glutes. Have a deep breath in here and exhale. Drop the foot, close your hip. Coming all the way back down into table pose and we're going straight for the other side, extending the left leg back, toes on the mat, send the right foot towards the edge of the mat for a better balance, opening the hip, drop the heel to the side and inhale, left arm up. Start engaging your glutes here, looking up to the left fingers. And again, engage more muscles, lifting the leg off the mat, try to go as high as you can, holding it here, regulate your breath in and out through the nose. Have a deep breath in and exhale, drop the back foot, coming all the way back to our table pose. And straight from here, we're going to tuck the toes and press for our first downward dog. So feel free to start paddling your legs, bending one knee at a time. Focus on your breath. You can move your hip from side to side, your neck as well. All right, and from here, inhale to walk your feet forward to meet your palms, coming to the top of the mat into flat back. And exhale to fold. And inhale your arms all the way back up. And exhale your palms together to heart center. And again, look at your feet, connecting the big toes together, leaving the heels slightly apart. From here, we're going to inhale the arms up. And exhale to fold forward. Inhale into halfway lift, flat back. And exhale, plant your palms, step your legs back to plank, holding our plank here, pushing the shoulder blades away from each other, engage your abs, engage your glutes, regulate your breath. Three breathing movements from here, pushing with the toes, we're going to shift the weight forward as we inhale, go as far as you can, and exhale, come back to neutral, we have two more, inhale forward. Exhale back, take your time, inhale forward, 
exhale back and from here we're gonna drop the knees to the mat hip width connect the big toes sit in child pose and again connecting the palms together planting the elbows lifting the palms up go as deep as you can stretch your arms Catch your breath here. And again, we're going to drop the arms down, palms down on the mat. Lift yourself back up to table pose, tucking the toes, pressing to downward dog. Feel free to paddle your legs again if you still need to. We're still warming up. And again, from here, inhale, walk your feet forward, meet your palms, coming to the top of the mat into flat back. And exhale to fold, try to go deeper. And inhale, your arms all the way back up. And exhale, palms to heart center, flowing from here, inhale, arms up. And exhale to fold. Inhale to halfway lift, flat back. Exhale, step back to your plank. Again, holding the plank here. Regulate your breath. And our three breathing movements. We're going to inhale, shift the weight forward. Press your toes down to the mat. Exhale, come back to neutral. Two more. Inhale forward. Exhale back. Last one. Inhale. Exhale back, dropping the knees down, start bending your elbows close, sending the chest and the chin down to the mat, keeping the hip off the mat here, elbows as well. And tuck your tailbone in, slide forward, lifting into our cobra. So in cobra, we want the elbows to be bent, we want the shoulders to be down away from the ears, Engage your glutes here to protect your lower back. Have a deep breath in and exhale to lower down. We have two more. Inhale into Cobra. Feel that you're pushing the mat away with the bottom of your palms rather than lifting up. Hip bones down on the mat. Have a deep breath in and exhale lower all the way down. We have the last one here. Inhale, lift up. Holding the cobra here, feel your leg muscles, your glutes as well. Have a deep breath in and exhale, lower all the way down, tuck your toes, press to downward dog and breathe. Regulate your breath here, in and out through the nose. Have a deep breath in and exhale, walk your palms towards the back of the mat, bend your knees, let your head be heavy, relax your spine here. Planting the palms down to the mat, inhale, walk your arms forward, coming all the way to our plank, hold your plank here. And inhale, shift your weight forward, press with the toes, exhale back to neutral, two more, inhale forward, exhale back, last one, inhale, exhale back, drop your knees, start bending your elbows, chest and chin down, hip off the mat. And from here, sliding forward, inhale into cobra, engage more muscles here. Regulate your breath. Keep it bent in your elbows. And right away from here, we're going to tuck the toes, pressing firmly all the way to downward dog. Regulate your breath. Try to push your heels down to the mat. Coming to our table pose, fix your alignment, 
and three rounds of cat cow breathing. So really feel your spine here as you inhale, arching the back, looking up, and exhale, round and relax. Two more, inhale, look up, and exhale, round your spine, look at your pelvis. Last one here, inhale, Exhale to round your spine. Hold your cat here. Keep your chin to your chest. Keep looking at your pelvis. Pushing the mat away with the palms. Contract your abs. And from here we're going to extend the right leg back. Keeping the curve. And then the left to follow into plank. Keep looking down. Regulate your breath here, holding the plank, chin to chest. And from here, inhale to look forward, drop your knees, bend your elbows, chest, chin down. Catch your breath. And tuck your tailbone in, slide up into cobra. Open your chest, push your shoulders down, away from the ears. Regulate your breath, hip bones down to the mat, engaging the glutes. Have a deep breath in and exhale. Tuck your toes, pushing all the way down to the downward dog. Regulate your breath here, relax your neck. And inhale, walk your feet forward, coming to the top of the mat, reaching our flat back. And exhale to fold round your spine. Feel free to micro bend your knees here. And gently inhale, roll yourself all the way back up. Head to come up last and relax your shoulders down. All right, and again, keeping our position at the top of the mat here. Think of always opening the chest, connecting the big toes, heels apart. We're going to inhale, arms up, and exhale to fold forward. Inhale to halfway lift, flat back. Exhale to step or jump back to plank. Holding our plank here. Trying to keep the hip on the plank level. We want to inhale right leg up. If this is too much, keep holding your plank. From here, have a deep breath in. And exhale, bring your right knee to your right elbow. Inhale, push your leg back. Exhale, right knee, right elbow. We have the last one. Inhale back. Exhale, knee to elbow. Push your leg back to plank, drop your knees, chest and chin down, inhale, cobra. And exhale, downward dog. Regulate your breath, in and out, through the nose. So downward dog will be our resting pose. Feel free to always go to child pose instead. But not this time because we're moving forward. So inhale, walk your feet forward, coming to the top of the mat, reaching our flat back. And exhale to fold. Try to go deeper, rounding the spine here, extending the legs. Feel the stretch in your spine, in your hamstrings and calves. And again, inhale to flat back, halfway lift. Exhale, drop your palms, walk or jump to plank. Hold your plank here. And we're going for the other side, lifting the left leg up and holding it here. Think of keeping the hip on the same plank level. We don't want to go too high. Have a deep breath in and exhale, knee to elbow. Two more, inhale back up. Exhale, knee to elbow. Last one, inhale. Exhale, knee to elbow. Find your plank back. 
Drop your knees. Keep your knees and feet together. Sit and relax in child pose. Catch your breath. Five long deep breaths here in child pose. Feel free to pick any variation that you want, keeping the knees together or apart. Have a deep breath in 
and exhale to bring the right knee between your palms, finding our pigeon pose. So from here, we want the right knee to be looking to the corner of your mat. Think of squaring the hip, sending the left side of the thigh, of the left thigh, down to the mat. So we want to stretch the legs while making it an active pose. You can stay here or you can start bringing your palms together to your center. If this is too much for your back, it's better to relax down or maybe just lift the left. Have a deep breath in here and exhale to drop down, going all the way down, forearms and elbows. Think of pushing the left hip bone down to the mat as much as you can. Stretching the legs. And, and from here, gently lifting the back up. Tuck the back toes. Push all the way to downward dog. Regulate your breath in and out through the nose. Alright, and from here we're going to inhale to shift the weight forward, coming to our plank. And exhale to low plank. Engage your abs here, control the level of your hip, align with the shoulders. Have a deep breath in. And exhale to bring the hip higher, pushing the heels down as much as you can. And two more. Inhale, chest forward, low plank. Exhale, hip high, press your heels down. Last one, inhale. Exhale to lift the hip, press the heels, and stay here. And gently from here, inhale, shift your weight forward, low plank, lift up to high plank, shift your weight forward, find your chaturanga, and inhale to upward dog, thighs and knees off the mat, and exhale to downward dog and breathe. Regulate your breath here, in and out through the nose. Again, this will be our resting pose, so feel free if you want to go to child pose instead. Preparing for the left leg. If your heels are down on the mat, in downward dog, see if you can start lifting your toes up to further stretch the hamstrings and the calves here. We have one last breath, if you want to child pose, rejoin us here. And gently inhale, left leg up, go as high as you can, sending the chest towards the right knee, pushing the right heel down to the mat. Push the mat away with the palms here, have a deep breath in. And exhale, bring your foot forward between your palms. Find your balance. Push the back toes firmly to the mat and inhale, arms up into high lunge. Think of squaring the hip, activating all the muscles here. Feel free to hold it or to pulse. Just focus on your breath. And inhale here, exhale, drop the back knee. We're going to bring the palms together to heart center. Pushing in our low lunge, stretching here. And inhale, lift the back knee off the mat, hold your high lunge. Exhale, knee down. Two more, inhale up, exhale down. Last one, inhale. And exhale down, keep pushing your hip forward, stretch your back quads, left knee not to cross the left toes. Stretch as much as you can here, regulating the breath. 
And again, we're going to lift the back knee off the mat. Holding our lunge here. Have a deep breath in. And exhale, drop your palms down to the mat. Pushing all the way back to downward dog. And same leg again, we're going to inhale, left leg up, hold it up, stay in your three-legged dog, right heel down. And from here, we're going to inhale to one-legged plank, shift your weight forward, hip lower, exhale, downward dog. Two more, inhale, plank, exhale, downward dog. Last one, inhale, plank. Exhale, downward dog and breathe. Stay in your three-legged dog here. Have a deep breath in. And exhale, bring your left knee between your palms. Find your pigeon pose. Again, the left knee pointed at the corner of your mat. The right side, the front side of your thigh is down on the mat. So think of squaring the hip here. Hold it actively. See if you can remove the right arm up. If you can remove both palms and heart center. This is too much for your back. Again, drop it here. Don't force it. Have a deep breath in. And exhale to fold all the way down. Forearms and elbows down on the mat. Again, keep on thinking of sending the right hip bone down to further square the hip. And stretch the leg. Calm your breath. Five long deep breaths here. Breathing in and out through the nose. Make sure your neck is relaxed. Try to enjoy the pose here.
and from here inhale to lift yourself all the way up so you're still sitting on your heels we're gonna bring the knees together let me take a few steps forward to make it clear all right and we're gonna lift the hip to be aligned with the knees keeping the legs where they are or maybe send the knees a little bit apart and tuck your toes here so we're going for our camel pose. So what we need to take care of, always engage your glutes to protect your lower back. We want to bring the palms behind the lower back to have some support. So think of, instead of holding it like this, it's the full palm supporting the lower back here. And if it's too much, you can always go higher and support the lower and a little bit of the middle back. So from here, think of engaging the glutes, sending the elbows towards the back, chest forward. Start sending your hip forward, lifting the chest up, going back. So in this back bend, you should only feel it in your upper back. So if you feel it below the upper back, it means that you're bending from the spine where we want to bend from up here with a chest openness. Come back to neutral, catch your breath here, and let's try to take it deeper, engaging the glutes, opening the chest, think of sending the chest up and then back, maybe drop your head back. And if you're fine here, if you can look at the back of the room, start dropping one hand at a time to hold your ankles. Open your shoulders here, keep sending the hip forward, relax your neck. Keep engaging your glutes. And gently support your lower back again with your palms. One palm at a time, lifting all the way back up. If you get dizzy, that's completely normal, it's fine. Catch your breath here. We have the third round of camel. If you're too dizzy, then go catch your breath in child pose. Just a couple of uh, breaths. And let's take camel to another level. So again, engaging the glutes here, supporting the back. Inhale, chest up, glutes in. Go back, find your ankles here and stay. If you think you can take it deeper, see if you can untuck your toes one foot at a time. Think of sending the hip forward, relaxing the neck down. And again from here, supporting the lower back, one palm at a time. Lift all the way back up, keeping the knees together, the feet together. Sit on your heels. Dropping the forehead as close to your knees as you can, down on the mat, round your spine, relax your arms back, palms turning up. So really think of your spine being curved here to counter the back bend. If this is not comfortable enough, or if you don't get enough stretch in your spine, see if you can start Sending the crown of your head down on the mat, tucking the chin to the chest. And still, if you want to take it deeper, hold your heels, lift your hip off your heels into round. Make sure the crown of your head and your neck are not overloaded here. And gently release down, bringing the arms forward. Lifting all the way back up into table pose. And again, three rounds of cat-cow breathing. Sending the knees hip width. Inhale to look up, feel it in your spine, arch your back. And exhale to round into cat, look at your pelvis. And we have two more, inhale, look up. And exhale, round your spine. 
Last one here, inhale. And exhale to round. Coming back to flat back. Sit back on your heels, bringing the legs forward. Sitting here in Nasana, we want to flex the toes, keeping the shoulders above the hip here, maintaining a long spine. Inhale your arms up and exhale to start reaching forward. Sit, think of tilting the pelvis here, more than rounding the spine. We just want to reach forward. And if the belly is touching the thighs, you can start rounding your spine to fold. Catch your breath here. If your belly is not touching your thighs and you're not rounding your spine, then it's better to bend your knees, reach out to the back of your toes to round your spine and relax. your breath here and gently inhale to lift all the way back up bend your knees make sure you have enough space behind you hold your legs here lifting the feet off the mat look down around your spine and we're gonna start rocking back and forth so rock yourself back and come forward and again, rock back and come forward. Last one, rock back, come forward and stay here, forehead down on the knees, rounding the spine. And gently from here, lifting the feet off the mat, we're going to roll all the way back down. Keeping the knees close to the chest, gently start rocking from side to side. Massage your lower back. Give yourself some time here. And we're gonna hold the knees and start doing circles. So we want to go to the left forward to the right and the knees close to the chest. Go ahead, keep doing your circles here. Go as far as you need, massaging the lower back area. And with the next one, we're going to switch the sides. So go to the right, back, left knees to chest. Carry on with your rounds. And gently from here, we're going to hold it at the center, dropping both knees on top of each other to the right side. Extend your left arm, shoulder level, and twist. If this is not too much for your neck, start looking at your left fingers. Regulate your breath here. chest and then drop your knees to the left side extend your right arm keeping the right shoulder down to the mat look at your right fingers if you can if you want breathing in and out through the nose And 
and gently bring your knees back to the center, hug your knees to the chest. Start aiming for the back of your thighs. Bring your knees closer, even if you lift the lower back off the mat. You can stay here or you can start reaching up to the calves, bringing the legs closer or all the way to your ankles, dropping your feet behind you. Just make sure that your neck is not pressured here. We just want to stretch the spine and the legs. And very slowly, bit by bit, come all the way back down, dropping the feet down to the mat, connecting the soles of the feet together, dropping the knees to the sides. Make sure your shoulders are relaxed here. And we're gonna move the left palm on top of the heart, right palm on the belly. Just notice how you breathe here. Feel your belly and your chest movement. Calm your breath. And you can stay here for as long as you need. Or if you're ready to move forward, you can start bringing the knees together, maybe with the help of the palms. Extending one leg at a time down on the mat, feet to the edges of the mat. Drop your feet to the sides to relax your hip and inner thighs. Extending the arms as far away as you need, turning the palms up and breathing into Shavasana. Think of regulating your breath here as much as you can. Try to avoid any distracting thoughts. You can count your breath. Think of inhaling deeply, exhaling very slowly. Try to relax all the way down as much as you can, scanning the body bit by bit, from the toes to the crown of the head. And very gently from here, we're going to bring the arms above the head on the floor, interlace your fingers and turn your palms out, bringing the feet together, inhale, stretch your arms, point your toes, lift your chest up, and exhale to release, and one more, inhale, stretch, point your toes, Maybe lean to the right side and exhale to release. We have the last one. Inhale, stretch, point your toes, lean to the left and gently release. Start bending your knees, rolling to your right side. Use your right arm as a pillow. And give yourself a moment here to breathe. And with your eyes. 
eyes closed. Start lifting yourself up into a seated position. Just make yourself comfortable here. Think of your spine, of your open chest. Regulating the breath in and out through the nose. And from here we're going to start rubbing the palms together to create some heat. Do it as fast as you can. Placing the left palm on top of the heart, right palm on top of it. Feel your own warmth here and breathe. Softly exhale through the mouth and go back to the natural rhythm of breathing in and out through the nose. Inhale, arms up, look up, start opening your eyes and exhale to bring your palms together to heart center. And Namaste. Thank you uh, everyone for joining. I'll just put the music off. Uh, I turned uh, on the comments, so if you have uh, any questions, uh, if you have any suggestions or requests for uh, the next classes, please let me know. I'll be around for a minute or two maybe. Uh, if you want to generally uh, share uh, how you feel uh, after class, Please go ahead. Hi, Noron. <laughs> no, right. So, um, if you're going to watch the live later and you didn't attend it, please feel free to contact me directly or uh, the club uh, with any questions that you have. I'll be more than happy uh, to provide you with the answers. Thank you. Thanks a lot. Thank you for joining everyone and I'll see you next week. Bye-bye.